Hello and welcome back. My name is Jeremy. And like I said in the last episode, we're going to do um, we'll call them exercises or little programs, whatever you like to call them. It's basically what they are, just little small programs we're going to write just to use what we have already learned. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do the About Me um, program. So the first thing we're going to do, like always, we're going to do File, New, oops, if I can do it, File, New, Java Project, oops, about me, and I'm going to name the, the class up, i just call it About. Okay, finish this, put in class header so we know what it is. Which I'm sure by now you guys are getting really used to knowing what that is, but I just could I just like doing it. So public static void main string works. Alright, so this about me program that we're about to write is going to we're gonna need three variables. We're gonna need something for the name. Something for your age and something for an annual income. Okay, so let's start with the name. Okay, we talked about before in the past about the string. So that's probably what we'll use because this is what can actually um, hold uh, characters. So called string name. Okay. And uh, which is something for age? Well, age is usually, you know. An integer value for the most part, and I went. I don't know. I think after the age of maybe 15, you quit saying I'm 15 and a half. You just say I'm 15 going on 16. So we'll say int age. And for income, well, everyone's income is a little bit different, so we'll use a double for that, so we can use the decimal point there. So we'll say income. All right. Well, this is all good and dandy, but how do we get input? I'll give you a second to think about it. Well, I believe in the last episode we talked about the Java scanner. So that's what we're going to use here, whoops, here, the scanner. So we need to make a, uh, we got to create a new scanner. So a scanner, I'm just going to KB for keyboard, equals new scanner that's going to be um, an input basically so we're going to use system.in alright so that's all done so now what we're going to do now is basically just ask a few questions so system dot out dot print line Ooh. print line okay so our first question is going to be what is your name? So what is your name? So to store this, we're going to call, we're going to use the name variable, the keyboard dot next line. So whatever the user types in, it's going to be stored into the name variable. Okay. So now we're gonna have, do another system dots out dot print line. Oops. And we're gonna ask uh, what is it? What is your age? What is your age? I don't know why I like to hit <laughs> the colon all the time. So age kb dot next int again when the user types in their age it's going to be stored into the age variable and our last question is going to be system dot out dot print line so what is your income okay so it'll be in com equals dot say kb dot next double 
Yeah, now you might hear some rain in the background. There is a, a, a thunderstorm kind of going through my area. I do apologize about that. Oh, there was one thing I wanted to show you guys, and I forgot. I like having line numbers. There's no line, line numbers over here. So to do that, you go to um, Window, Preferences, uh, General, I think it's Editors. Click on Text Editor. Don't click the theater, just click on Text Editor. It should be, yeah, Show Line Numbers. Oh, this makes everything so much easier. Especially when they say, hey, there's a problem on line 5. Well, if you don't have line 5, if you don't know where line 5 is, it could be a pain in the butt. Or line 505. Okay, so back to where we were. Sorry about that. Um, so now that we gathered all this information, now we're going to construct a, a sentence to use, basically, to put this back out to the user. So to do that, we, of course, have to have another system. Dots out. Dots print line. So in, in here, we're going to say, uh, my name, wow, name is, we have to use the concatenate so we can use the variable name. My name is something. <laughs> my age is something else. We'll Use the plus signs again to concatenate. Oops. Yeah, and concatenate just gonna mean just bring everything together. Um, we'll do a line down here. And I hope to make or well earn his earn some. Eh, hope yeah, hope to earn in. And how do earn? Da, 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 da. We will use income here. Income. Now you don't have to put spaces between these pulses. I do just because it's just I think it's easier to read that way. Let's say per year. Per year. I think that should be good. It looks good to me. We have no errors. Um. So let's. Go ahead and let's run this bad puppy and see what happens. All right. So first question: What is your name? Ah, uh, Jeremy. What is your age? I'm 37. What is your income? One million dollars. This is. My name is Jeremy. My age is 37, and I hope to earn one million dollars per year. I think it's one million, right? Yeah. So that's the first exercise right there. It's kind of short, but 25-ish lines of code, so not much at all, really. I mean, well, you could do anything you want with this. You could change this up. You could actually have fun. You can make a little game out of this if you want to, you know, run it and put in some weird text before they're like, kind of like those Mad Libs. I don't know if you've ever played any of those or not, but I mean, you could do something like that even. That'd be kind of fun. So this is, like I said, these are just little mini exercise program things just to kind of review, recap all the stuff we've done. Um, on that note, I thank all you guys for watching, uh, subscribing, liking the video. Until then, I will see you next time. We'll see you later.